Villa Maleda. And with him, the fruit drinks have arrived as well. That's right, Stade Francais are back in the home of Montpellier Rugby. And we are looking for more points to solidify our place at the top of that table. We are second, they are 12th. And if anything to go by from that, is we should win. Let's do it. Bonjour everyone and welcome back along to Montpellier career mode where today, yes, we're up against the pink boys, the fruit drinks, Stade Francais. And they've got a good team as well. We'll have a look at them in just a tick. For our side of things, we've made yet some more changes. Of course, injuries have forced some of those changes, most notably at number eight. There's no Geelong. There's no uh, Kamara. There's injuries all over the place from that cursed number eight jumper. Instead, Bastian Shleru, who has been a saviour at the back of our pack, once again returns for that duty. He'll partner with Drago and Willemse in that back row. We've got a new look front row. Fishton and Hamaraj come back in to partner Gilda Sally, who again, another one forced in for injury. Grado is out. And then we look to the back line, and it's a man we signed as depth and cover. I thought we'd use more, but Augustin Omache has been someone who's been largely left out from some good form from the likes of Pelag and Pulu, has seen him mainly unused so far. So a good chance here for Omache to really show his worth. A break of the team sees Brett here and come back and refreshed and reinvigorated. Something we can't say so much for guys like Wadago. Poor fella. Now here's an interesting call. Our left wing has been problematic I would say. We've struggled to get anyone to really do anything fantastic there. So this time it's another chance for Eduardo Padovani to show his wares. Is he going to be the one that can spark in that number 11 jumper? Skinner has been in God form recently and he keeps his spot alongside Dalmeru who has been phenomenal on his return from injury and you can't keep Ratiz out of that 14. And Boffier, solid as a rock at fullback. Now, start Francais, old friend JJ van der Mesh. Now if you tune into the channel for a long time you know JJ is a guy that we have used a lot in other games, rugby champions to be exact. Fantastic player, young, talented, and a good little pickup there for Stan Francais. He's in an amazing second row with Jan Maestri at five. And then you look at the Argentinian and six, Marcos Klammer is there as well. In their back line, there's plenty of Islander impact here. Tulu Savainu is on the left wing. Sefa Naivalu, he's in midfield. And Nagani Lamape is on the right wing. That's a triple threat of absolute attacking domination we've got big jobs in front of us here tonight we've got uh, a decent bench as well we see uh brett's is coming in to serve his first time on the bench injury we knew we'd need him sooner or later and we see plenty of more experience here payload serpentine isles is still on there as well nasalevu sanchez there's plenty of talent on the bench of star france as well tolu latu hello emil yep Every team has stacked benches these days. Let's get into the action. Montpellier at home. Ready to go against Stade Francais. The fruit drinks. That's right. You see it on the back of the shirts. Any second now. There we go. As it will be bar to kick us off. And it is the fruit drinks kicking deep. And Montpellier getting it back through Skinner. And a slow ball there at the right for the home team, like Dago, fires it back to Boffier, and I would like to actually keep this down the sideline. We kick it pretty much straight down the throat of Seggins at the back, and he does return it into our 22. Caught there, and a mark taken. Interesting call. Not sure why we actually took the mark in that instance, but um, a chance for Omashe to do something with it. He's got the free kick, and let's see what his kicking is like. That's not bad. Not bad, we'll, we'll let that one go. I was a bit perplexed as who actually caught that until I saw the nine on his back. That's right, it's been, well, really, the first time in the regular season we've seen Omashe in the action. And a tidy little start from him as well. Capelli turns over the line out. Omashe away to hear it very quickly. Padovani on the line. Padovani splits him in half. Throws down the back door. Skinner slides on it. And now we've got a big chance to spark something. Capelli getting his fan going. Off running as well to Boffier. Palavani's there. He's the man. He can do everything. Palavani scores. And that's a great start for Montpellier. Oh, that trouble 
Johnson, number 11 jumper, Pitavani involved twice, and he's made start pay. Well, will we see far back enough? We won't. Padovani hit the line off the set piece. He broke the initial line and that was fed out to Skinner. It was an average pass to Skinner, but he cleaned it up. And it let Padovani get back on his feet, back in the attacking line. And a great little try from Eduardo Padovani. Such an attacking threat is Padovani. A joy to have. He can play pretty much anywhere in the back line. As we've seen there, left wing. Well, he's fully capable of that as well. That's a good kick from Boffier. Another one. And another two points for Montpellier. We go up seven points to nil over Stade Francais. Slash the fruit drinks. Gotta love the colour though. It does stand out. The blue and the black. Everyone's got a bit of that blue and black sort of dark tone about their kit. But the pink of Stade is certainly unique. It's all oh, Marche gets hammered. Oh, it's going to be a card as well. Disaster for Stade. They're going to lose a man. Off to the bit he goes. And that spells disaster. And we can hopefully do some damage here as well. Kicked away from Boffier. Finds touch. Easy on halfway. No question marks about that here in... Says I could have done better, but let's be honest, he's got the key K beside his name. We'll leave him with it. Line out, Montpellier. Go with a selling the throat to the front flank pass man. A much there away to Heron. Back in the team, Heron. And straight back out of the team, Heron. Oh, he's in and he's out. He's a yo yo of Montpellier's number 10 jumper. Okay, what do we do here? Now, personally, I think we have to go aisles on. For here and, and then we'll swap Isles um, and Padovani. And Padovani can go to 10, I think, because he is capable of that number 10 jumper. Uh, and that, I think, no Darmon on the bench. I thought we had enough cover. And, of course, that is always what's going to happen. Carlin Isles, you can get that cheeky grin off your face. You're not going to be playing 10, my son. We'll make some changes to that backline set up, but on he comes in 23. Crouch. Uh, can we do it now? We can before the uh, scrum actually feeds in. So Padovani can go to 10. Isles will go to the left wing. Well, we could put Skinner. Um, which do we go Skinner? Skinner to 10. Padovani to tease to inside center. He doesn't really like it. No, let's, let's stick with this for now. Skinner can stay at 12. We'll put Padovani in at 10. Uh, Isles on the wing. He can play there. We've played him there before. He wasn't fantastic. Fine. But it's another chance for Padovani to show Sit. his wares. I think Isles. Oh my goodness me. What a scrum that is. Uh oh. Shalabu went down like a sack of spuds there. I must say he's gone for a bit of a scamper. We spot a space here on the left hand side of Padovani. He's got it back again. Now can he find Isles? He does. Carl and Isles to the corner. Isles is in touch. Oh man. We got the fend off perfectly on seconds as well. But could not straighten things up well enough. Oh, we are just amazing when we spark. Line out comes in. Stolen Capelli. Oh, that's how I had a He's in everything. Pinavani slips up and over. No, he's pummeled short. Turned over from Stade Francais. And they, they get a little bit exciting as well. Nice little flick pass out to Vianu. And he's kicked it over the head of our fullback. And Isles is, well, he's, Isles has just overrun the ball there. Boffier said to come back and get it. And Stade Francais have gone 22. Well, goal line to 22. As they come out to the right-hand side. It's in. Goes for a run on the 22. Pick and go from, oh my goodness, Corval. And he sparked it away to Lamarpe. Numbers and pink all over the place. And a try is scored for Stade Francais. Too easy in the end. Numbers manipulating defense, and it is less than a 10 who scores. Brilliant try in the end, but what the hell went on with that kick? Carl and I was just overran it. He could have picked it up, we could have recycled. Amashe got dumped on attack. Lamape, we knew the danger. Vayanu, Navalu, and Lamape were always going to be a tragic combination for us. And Seggins is actually the man who's on the tee. So no kicking boots here for Barr. And 
course, they have plenty of talent on the bench as well. But the fullback does well enough and ties it up remarkably in the yellow card period. That's a bit scary. Speaking of, he's back. Loose head prop rumbles his way back on. And uh, we've successfully squandered our lead. Boffier goes back to halfway. The deep kick this time, looking for pressure on the visiting starter front safe side. We could actually turn that over, but I'm so we do. Very nice. Gilda Sally hits the right hard. Turn over back to start front safe. Big pass out wide. Here's the Ghani Lamarpe. Now, what can we link up with defensively? We've got to shut it down. Oh, oh, oh. what a hit. I thought Lamarpe might have been in for a bit more than that, but he's come up against Boffier. And he has squashed him like a fly buzzing around the kitchen. What an amazing play there. I must say, gets the ball off the line out. And he drills it across field. Not really intending for anything other than grass and a fine touch. Not bad from the little number nine. He's kind of a bit annoyed with it. Capelli says, well, I couldn't have done any better than that. But I'll turn over the line out for you, he says, in the yellow headgear. Let's see what he can do. Punish throws, and it's taken nicely in the middle. Van der Mesh, the man we spoke about at the start. Isles, oh, Isles, they're fine. Beautiful line there from Naivalu. We are so clustered up here. Switch to play, leaves us with dust again. And bar, straight up the guts, he goes, the fly half. Release. Too slow the breakdown on that occasion. Naivalu again, drops it off very short, and busting his way upfield. There is a maestri. Pick and go. Cobble. Oh, Cobble's gone down. Well, he's got a odd looking beard, but we won't hold that against him. Sanchez on at nine. Well, they've got a similar problem to us. They've kind of over allowed their bench to other positions. And now we'll be Sanchez Crouch. coming on in 22. Find. 22 fruit drinks. Set. And a haircut that looks like. Well, we won't talk about that. But Sanchez, what can he cook up now? Playmaking options. Bar's still on as well. Sanchez gives the bar. Bar drops it short. And we go around the outside of Ortiz. Has to come up here on Lamape. And we've injured Lamape as well. Brilliant stuff. We might actually win this now. If we injure enough of their good players, we will. And it's nice to leave it. So the Fijian makes his way on. And let's be honest... Um, that's Crouch. a decent sub to make as Bind. well. 23 on. Sanchez, very nice to leave it. And we've only just struck half time as well. Oh man, it's 7 7. What will this final seconds play? Bar gets the ball on the outside, chops it in field and hitting the line nice and hard there. Naivalu getting them up towards the 22. Sanchez. Looks to the left hand side. Bar switches play back to the right. Nice to leave evolved out wide as well. Isles has to come across. Makes a heavy hit. Carlin Isles defensively does very well. And he puts nice to leave in touch. And we go to the break. It's seven points apiece. Montpellier and Stade Francais all tied up. The yellow card period actually brought Stade their only try. And when you look at line breaks, they're actually doing work better than us. Less ball, good territory. This game could go either way. Let's get back to the second 40. We'll start as we started the first half. All tied up this time. 7-7 seven, seven instead of 0-0. Nil, nil. Let's get back to it. Of course, both sides have been forced into changes already. Let's... Um, Smack it short, actually. Let's chop it up here, Boffy, eh? Let's see if we can get the likes of Ortiz involved. As, of course, he is the first man there. Willemster as well. And a strong take and a very good carry there for Marcos Klamer. Sanchez popping it across through their midfield. Up from fullback there is seconds. I mean, great time to get a turnover if we could. Sanchez! Sanchez! Hard to bring down there. Hamadaj having to do the hard work on the fence. Shoulders first for all these players as well. Up again! Unbelievable there from Willemsen. Two tackles in the space of one face. Release. Hitting it there, Vandermist. Sanchez has knocked it on. 
Mistake from Stud. We'll let this one play out, shall we? Give it to Sally. Lomache. Running and doing over. very well. Skinner gets the pass on a standstill. Damaru looking to link up to the left. No! No! Not Damaru! Why does he have to get injured? One game in. We've got a good replacement though. Sir Fontaine is still there. But Damaru come back. Two games. And he tore those two games to ribbons as well. We've got a good replacement. Jan Serfentain can come on. But man, Dalmeru makes Crouch. things happen. Fine. He really does. In a Shit. big way. What's the last two episodes if you don't believe me? He is quality. Right, let's go, Shalaru. You're the last of number eight. Somerset oh, does very well. Ritiz. Can he make it to the corner? I don't think he will. He's stalled. He's been hammered. Seconds has come across. And he's taken him to the cleaners. Big tackle there from the fullback. And nothing as well. I thought we could cut in. Try to take him on. We're going for the corner. We're going for the win, lads. I don't want to give them a chance. This is, this is kind of unlike us, which is kind of concerning as well. Go to Sally. He's the man. Frank out of the front. The machine. Lyles. Carmen Lyles breaking tackles. Almost flicking it on. Now let's use the forwards. Fish in. Back of the team. Back of the tries. No, what? Release. He's short. More room. Frank out. Having a rumble himself. Goes backwards. We've got to be careful here. We might lose this ball. No, it comes back nicely for us. You know what? Well, I was going to go for something like a droppy there, but Skinner's had to pick it up instead. Not the man we wanted on the ball. Not the man. No, the chance may be lost. Start Francais do very well. Oh, I just wanted to take the three after all that. And that's a great, is he in touch? Oh, it's a great tackle. He's not in touch. Is he in touch? He is. Oh, what a mistake, Stard. What are you doing? I kind of wish we'd taken the three now. I'm going to fire that out. So Marche can probably hit the line. Oh, we've just won it. Marche, breaking tackles. Marche will score. He's stunned it for Montpellier. And the Uruguayan makes an instant impact for a start. First try. And Ratiz is there on hand as well. Confidence, this was stupid rugby. They should have been able to clear their lines there. We've gone to the back. And amashe has gone for a run. Bang! Beats Bar on the hit. And over for the try. I was actually going to look for a drop goal. I was actually looking for a drop goal. We had that penalty and I turned it down. I went for the corner. And we just got rumbled. Backwards and backwards. We finally got the try though. After Stade Francais made a shocking decision. Who decides to do that sort of rubbish where they go straight to touch? I don't know. But a 14-7. This one's not quite over just yet. Bar to get us back underway. High, very good kick. Good to Sally. Shalairu Capelli. Skinner is straightening up. Release. Everyone getting involved there. Trying to turn the ball over. Serfrontaine back in the 15. And he kicks it away. Seconds looking to run it back. Breaking tackles amazingly. Oh no, Naivalu's gone now. Another injury for Star Francais. This is getting ridiculous. On will come Hodoi to take his place. And that changes Crouch. things now. No, no, Vainu has been quite good. Vainu has Sit. been sensational. Also on was La Mape earlier in the game. Nice deliver has come in as well. You see him at 23 there. He's actually going to get the pill. He's dropped it short and he's almost in touch. He's managed to stay in unbelievably. They're going wide here. Hamadash is coming across. Oh, I like the chances of that turnover there. 
Oh no! Oh my shade's done everything right until this! High tackle! And a penalty to Star France. And in this position, on their 22, it's kind of dangerous. They find touch though, nicely over the half. This is not the lead I like. I hate leads like this. Because if they score in the death, well, it's a draw, and I hate draws. <gasps> Panis to throw. Oh, he's hit his man perfectly as well. And when you got Maestri in that lineup, you've just got to hit those big men. They are just too good at their trade. Our defense is non existent at the moment. Panabani. Advantage. Oh, he's offside, Panabani now. Oh, we are in trouble here, lads. We are. Oh, fish and stuff. <laughs> fish and the intercept. Oh, Padovani's offside. What do you do now, Stan? Take three and let's get back quickly. Here he is, Padovani. You've seen him come round. Well, that doesn't tell you jack, does it? It really doesn't tell you anything at all. Oh, Fishton. You got four minutes. Take the kick. No, they're tapping it. That is insane. They've gone mad. You've gone bananas. We've turned it over. We've got a Sally. Out to Petavani. No, 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 not like this, Petavani. No. My Italian beauty. Oh, this has been carnage. This game has been disastrous. Now, we put Petavani at fly half, didn't we? So, Paylard can come and take that spot. Oh, Petavani, don't be out for long. Have we lost three players each? They lost Lamarpe, um, Novalu. And they lost someone else, didn't they? Crouch. Goodness Find. gracious me. We've lost three. Set. All in the backs this week. Let's see what we can do now. One minute to play. Let's go, Shaleru. No more injuries. Shaleru! We're some friends. Hamanash is there as well. Skinner! I love being able to link up off that play. Let's go short side quickly. Go on to Sally. Stop soon, go on to Sally. Vamsa, away to Isles. Now Isles is going up. Using his pace to chase the ball. How good's his catching? It's terrible. It has gone awful. We got nowhere near it. Why did I do that? Why is it way back here? On the 22, I thought I kicked the throw of a mat. But alas, on we go. Start France looking out wide. Paylag out of position. Now they've got the big man, it's a touch, and it's all over. Oh, we survived. One of our most average performances in recent memory. Start front A were pretty crap as well. Two tries to one, no bonus point on offer there. But that was a painful match. Not only for the rugby, but also for the injuries. Omashan Petavani. A great try from Petavani early. Two involvements in that. I was really pleased with our start. I thought, yes, we could pile on the points here. But then it just died. Start took over. A 10 got their try. Seconds put it over in the conversion. And we were 7 all at half time. They had a yellow card period, which they dominated. And in the second half, we were just in the wrong parts of the field. We couldn't get a ball. We couldn't get it down their end. And when we did, we were wasteful. Thankfully, Omarche did a single individual piece of brilliance to grab our second try. Boffier, of course, converted them both. Do we deserve to win? Oh, I would say not really. Down on possession, down on territory, down on line breaks. It wasn't our game. It wasn't our night. We've come away with a lucky win thanks to Omarche with his first start at scrum half. Well, it's not good news, lads. It's really not good news. Heron and Dalmeru out for a further seven weeks. Padovani out for 15 weeks. Broken nose, shoulder injury, and a fractured damn jaw. Three more players out. So let's have a look at our team. Changes need to be made. Heron, I guess, comes out straight swap for Darmon. No one's back either. Look at that. Still 17 days till we get Larissa Samet back. 18 for Kamada. Sanconi is still ages away. Garada and Geelong don't even talk to me about those. And now let's add these mugs into the mix as well. Let's get them up there. Right there. Right. That's a long time. 
That's a very long time. Demeru, 45 days. What do we do there? Serfrontaine, I guess, is the obvious option. Um, and then someone like Vincent can come in. Let's just get these guys in order. This is disastrous. This is terrible. I tell you what, 95 days for Pinavani. Oh, he's my brilliant little Italian. And he stays there. Pinavani, nice to know you. Three, six, eight injuries. Eight injuries. It comes in fits and starts, doesn't it? What do we do to the team? Okay, I'm going to leave it there for the team. Still looks all right, though. We still look okay. Very talented squad, actually. Very, very good squad. Next up. Oh, great. We're in Europe. Did you see that? I, I missed that completely. Let's have a look. Munster. Leon. Oh, no. And Leon are the best team in France right now. And the Exeter Chiefs. I'm not sure how they are going. Let's take a look at this schedule. We'll be able to have a, a little bit of a guide. They are rated 79 overall, so they will match us very much. You see, Leon, 81. That's why. What are the Exeter Chiefs like? 73. Should smash them. But these two games, ooh, 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 are going to be tough. Look at that. 21, 17, 17, 14 in the last two encounters in last year's European Championship. Now, we do it again. Leon, Leon are good. They've beaten us twice, 21-7 and 28-7. I'm scared to face those guys, not only in Europe, but also in the top quartiles as well. But there we go. That is what we have to look forward to next episode. Let me know your thoughts on the team, the changes, anything we should do. A win, um, but it was kind of tarnished by all the injuries and the poor performance. Maybe next time we can do it a little bit better. Now we're in Europe, it is really all about winning that is number one priority. Munster, next episode. We're off to Europe. We loved the last season. Can we repeat the dose in season number two? Find out next episode. Until then, though, thanks for watching and take care.